acontecer a massagem. So in today's massage, we're going to work on cultivating present moment awareness. I know you were telling me that lately you've been feeling anxiety and just your mind running in a million different places, right? is all about staying in the present moment. And I would invite you to pay attention to your senses. So at the moment, my voice and my touch. But as we continue going, I'm going to introduce some scents and other perhaps unfamiliar sensations. And I want you to just really home in on your senses, okay? So I'm starting off just with Nothing fancy. Just doing a very simple effleurage as well as some deeper massage on either side of your spine. I'm going to go deeper into the right side. And the most beautiful thing about a massage session is that in order for it to be a successful, relaxing session, both the receiver and the giver need to practice present moment awareness. So I'm paying attention to how your muscles feel under my hand whether there's any tight spots, any areas that need a little extra work. Yeah. And at the same time, I'm also sensing how you're feeling. 
I can sense whether you've completely relaxed your body yet or whether you still have some reserved tension left over from, from your work day I think that's the power of touch you can sense so many things and you can give so many things and I go in a bit deeper with some Palmer kneading especially around your scapula where I find a little knot right here Right now, I'm working on warming up these muscles under my hands, improving blood flow to the surface, but also improving ven venous return. in a bit deeper. Finger kneading. And you'll find that um, my finger here is a little rougher than the rest of my hand. It's because my eczema is coming up again. So notice that sensation as well. And to use a little bit of pain release. And just running it along your spine. This sensation should be quite pleasant.
using the tips of my fingers to really work that pain release remedy into your paravertebral muscles. Here's another knot, so I'm just going to work deeper into it. Okay, I'm actually going to use my knuckles like this. So I have a bit more leverage, I can put more weight cover a larger surface area. Very good. Other side. Your skin's getting a little red, which is good. You want to see that? Just spray a little mist. But first, I'm going to add a few essential oils into it. drops of peppermint oil. And I know geranium is your favorite, so I'm going to add a little bit of that as well. the essential oil got onto my hand, so I just applied some massage oil and Right in the air. That's going to help to cool you down. It's really hot today. I went up to 34 degrees Celsius. It's really humid as well. It is still humid. 
despite having lots of rain today. Going to apply some of this to your arms also. actually need a bit of massage oil. This is going to be so good for you. After typing all day at the computer. Have you been having any arm or hand pain lately? Or wrist pain? Yeah, it's a bit tight. Okay, do you know where specifically is tight? The wrist? Okay. That tends to be quite common, especially the flexor side, because we're doing a lot of flexing with our fingers while we type. So here's a bunch, there's a bunch of flexor tendons that run either under or on top of the carpal tunnel. And they can get quite irritated if we over use these flexor tendons, as in typing, or if you use a mouse. It's really important to massage this and stretch them out, so you can always do stretches like that, right? Especially this one's really good for flexor tendons, and then to either side. I find the arms so incredible because this forearm rotates because of our radius, radius bone. The pivot action, it's really quite remarkable. Of course, we don't have much of a pivoting action in the leg, right? So with our tibia and fibula, we don't really do that anymore. Maybe a tiny little bit, but not very much.
working on that tricep muscle. Is the wrist bothering you on this side also? No. Not as much? Mm -hmm. That makes sense since this is your left arm. Is your back okay? Just like, do you want it covered or? Okay. All right. So, I'm going to start with a scalp check, like we always do. And then, I'm going to brush your hair a little bit. So I want you to really pay attention to the sensations in your scalp. Now, sometimes people feel tingly, like Adia last time. She was, she said she felt really tingly. So whatever you feel, just focus on those sensations, okay? And you can always tell me if you prefer you know, a little more pressure, less, whatever you like. Just let me know. Take it nice and slow. Not really looking for anything in particular this time, just trying to get you to really, really slow down any thoughts that you might have and simply focus. On this moment. That's my intention today.
this scalp is an area of the body that has a lot of free nerve endings. So for example, it's very sensitive to pain, but also to any itchy sensation or to any really pleasurable sensations such as when one scratches your hair like that or when someone plays with your hair clip your hair as I go, but um, like I said, this isn't the proper scalp check, so I'm not going to bother with it. Check the vertex of your scalp. Let's just work on brushing your hair, but very, very gently. Starting at the ends.
a little clip to get it out of it. The way. Spray a bit of this peppermint geranium spray. from its place. She loves to make these sprays and spray them into her friends' hair. I love her video so much. Um, in addition to lots of free nerve endings in the scalp, we also have our meridian. Our acupuncture points. In terms of the traditional Chinese meridians, we have the urinary bladder meridian gallbladder meridian and the governing vessel meridian. And these meridians tend to be really young in nature. Young as in, well, there's a lot of ways to interpret the word young. The character in Chinese, it means, well, it's the second basically just means the sun, like in Taiyang, Yang, or Yangguang, which means sunlight. But from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective, or even a spiritual perspective, Yang is the spiritual energy of fire. It is the expansive immaterial aspect it's very active, very heating it's also said to be a more masculine energy whereas its counterpart which it must be in balance with is the yin energy the moon energy, the feminine energy. And both of these energies are absolutely integral to optimal spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical health. For one cannot live without the other. Both are very important. And 
and the reason why the scalp meridians are all young in, in nature is because yang rises and yin yin has weight, it falls right. so your head is essentially the most yang part of you Sometimes when yang rises too much, that's not good, right? You can end up feeling really dizzy, you can have a headache, all that stuff. If we don't have enough yang rising up to the head, then we can feel sad and feel like we don't have much energy heaviness To be honest, the yin and yang principles can be applied to pretty much everything in the world. It's quite fascinating. I was actually expecting this, um, quite hard to detangle your hair, but it's actually not that bad. I think we're pretty much good now. Okay, if I put it into a braid for you. I'm just gonna do a very simple braid, okay? I've never braided someone's hair like this before, but I'm sure I can do it. I won't make it too tight because I know if it's really tight it might pull on your scalp.
Okay, I know it's getting really hot, so I'm going to spray a bit of water again. The last little fun session that I have for you to help you really ground into present moment awareness is um, just paying attention to how these objects feel. How does that feel? Do you know what it is? It's a little wooden butterfly. Do you want to see it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's little antennae are to massage your back. There's a lot of butterflies I saw. A monarch butterfly today. There was a bunch of caterpillars and now they're all turning into butterflies. More than usual. are really blooming, which is such a great thing. Okay, next item. This one is both touch and sound. wooden brooms that our, our grandma uses. It's similar. I'm sure you can use it to fluff away a few things like present moment awareness massage. Did you like it?